Welcome back to another episode of Victory Road, guys. How y'all doing out there on the internet? You guys are sexy and we love you. Woo! Um, so, before I start this, because I'm at the boss again, and I, I want something pause. I'm not going to be able to say what I was supposed to say last episode. You should do that while you're fighting. No. You should do that while you're fighting. Okay. Do that while you're fighting. You got this. Don't don't sit there and make them talk. listen to you. They want to see you. They want to see you fail succeed. Fail succeed. Oh. Fail seed, yeah. Oh my god. Just throw the thing! Damn! Dab. See? What? Oh my god. Bitch! You gotta avoid the attack at the all. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> Get the fuck away from me! Get away! Run away! Run away from me, babe! Jamie. Oh! Oh! He's fast. Do the thing! Do it! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Man, this sucks. Okay, so you you just gotta not get hit. Just don't get. Oh my god, Jamie. I'm not getting hit. Nah. Yeah. I'm sorry, viewers. Y'all never gonna get y'all story because he got he can't do he can't multitask. I can't multitask. No, you can't. We'll tell um, your story while you're fighting this balls. Well, I honestly like seeing the fans and seeing regular fans. You know, I mean, I miss a lot of our fans like Jackie. I mean, she's in she's got better things going on right now, like school and things. And, yeah. I mean, everybody's kind of moved like not away, but yeah. just like I mean, just like we did. You know, move on to better stuff like. I, I miss doing all the things that we thought we were cool for doing, like shooting a music video. Shooting a music video and... That was awesome. That was fun. That was a fun day, but... Uh, Don't ask us if you can see everything. Everything came to a crippling halt when we tried to get signed to a record deal. Which, like I said, when I was talking to you, you know, about, you know, our, our band, um, I know what you're trying to do. It may work. It may not. Oh, just go up top, boy. Um... Don't tell me what to do. Don't <laughs> tell me lot. what to do. I learned a lot. I've listened and people, you would actually succeed more than you fail. Hmm. I don't know about that. I know about that. What? You know, I like it when you prove me right. Oh hey! my god. Hey! that MOG! Oh my god. He killed him all with one hit, Matt. You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I did it. World War Five. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, Matsu, who normally plays with uh, Token, is actually um, whoa, whoa. doing some engineering whoa. stuff for us today. Mm, um, he's actually doing promotion. Um, but, oh, ooh, uh, wrecked. <laughs> but. Um, yeah, I, I miss, um, I really miss, you know, everything you were talking about, about playing live and whatnot, but I really like the things we did leaving, leading up to us trying to get that record deal. I don't, should I tell the story of our record deal? Yeah, man. I mean, it's a story. Uh, Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you put that down so fast. I'm so proud of you. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> Okay, so let's rewind the clock back. Um, what was it? Forever ago? Uh, 2012. 2012 um, was a crazy year. I had just moved down to my mom's place. I had my own apartment with uh, three of my best of homies, uh, a.k.a. Well, and, I'm dead. Bye-bye. Well, you are super dead. Um, anyway, <laughs> anyways, um, we... You should have put it there. You should have put it there. I mean, you get all the coins you want, which gives you a chance to. Oh, uh, nope. But um, 2012, Jamie, me and Jamie, or Jamie and I, excuse me, we're going to the same. Um... You're so oh, motherfucker. We're going to the same community college at the time. Ooh. And <laughs> I knew, he knew that I was a musician. I had been playing drums all my life, but I hadn't really done anything since high school when I was in marching band. And he wanted to start a band. So he was like, hey, you still don't want to play drums? And I was like, 
Yeah. So, long story short, we made a band called uh, Soul Network. We did funk and rock hybrid stuff, um, soul music. It was I, I loved it, man. We uh, we eventually got um, our friend David, who also went to the same community college, who actually went to high school with Jamie. And I played music with David forever. Yeah, so he played. Awesome. Yeah, he played music with David forever, and um, he was our guitarist. And then we they had a mutual friend uh, named Richard, who they where did you meet Richard from? We met Richard through Dragon Jams when we bought. Mm. I just don't. I don't. Hold on, why are these giving me regular turnips? Because um, you had entered, you have entered the same place, um, the sub, the little sub world, set twice in the same cave. Uh, oh, that's a gray birdo. That's the ash birdo. Oh, that's the thought down the street that don't want to give, <laughs> that beat you up if you don't give her no meat. <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't like that. Mm. Well, that was something. That was a thing to do. <laughs> So yeah, this one only fires fireballs. Oh great, good news, good news everybody. So so you have to use that thing, that block, to. Mm. Yeah, I know what I must do. I guess. So um. She's a bitch. <laughs> what was I saying? Oh yeah, back to our band. Um. Oh god. So we had a band we were f- doing shows it was great we did some shows at local pubs we did a show at bricks pizza which is a pizza place that does um fire roasted pizza which is really good and we did shows in exchange for food because we were broke and not a lot of people paid that much around where we're from because we're from a very not rich neighborhood um <laughs> city state region <laughs> anyway <laughs> oh man throw it fuck <sighs> so that's um i like when you freak out and it costs you everything what yeah! the fuck <laughs> just happened um, so yeah, um, about a year into us being a band, we <sighs> Fuck found- Fuck off, Birdo! Fuck you, shit! Fuck it! I- Fuck! You don't really do well at reading patterns, do you? I was reading her patterns! Patterns are bullshit! You gotta fight the fire boss again. No, I don't. Yeah, I do. Well, cool. Great. No, you don't. Have a good time. No, you don't. Because you're continuing. You're good. All right, great. Yeah, so we don't have to fast forward or anything. Anyway, um, so a year into us being a band, we had to, um, we had to, uh, we did a talent, we entered in a talent search that was, uh, go over towards the waterfall. Yeah. That was two hours away from us. Right here? Yeah. And, um, oh, no. Where the fuck is it? But, um, <clears throat> they, um, yo, you're dead. That was fun. Time. We did a talent search and they had about, s- how many interests did they say? Um, they have a good amount. Was They're it like 70? 70, yeah, close yeah, was, to 100. Yeah, it was close to 100 entrants. And by the time they were doing the count talent search, they loved our band so <laughs> wide. Give me a fucking break. <laughs> well, anyway. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, they um, they uh, loved our band so much that they wanted to sign us. And this was... Let me scoot over right quick. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine. Who, you I'm s- great. Are you really great? I'm cool. Are you cool, Cucumber? As not a cucumber. Fuck cucumbers. I love pickles. Yeah, you do. Uh, okay, great. You feel proud of yourself <laughs> for that remark? Yeah. That's why you got hit by the balls. You talking about me taking balls to the face. You took two balls to the face. Good job. You are amateur. Practice. Anyway, back to my story. So, we um, were getting ready to get signed, and what they wanted to do to a- <sighs> <laughs> the A 
A&R wanted to <laughs> wanted us to come down there um, two, two hours away to the city and was like, hey, we want you to come down here and... Um, There's some Black Beatles. Well, we... No, not yet. But they wanted us to come down and do what did we do? We went we went like they wanted us to demo like a song or something. Yeah, they wanted us to demo a song. And we had a Barma Mom's Land Rover. And yeah, we had to do a um we had to do a like a live practice wrecked. We had to do a live practice. Well, cool. Great. Let's finish the story. We had to do a live practice in front of the A and R. And this lady was tough. She was really, really tough. But um, she um knew her shit, kind of. Uh, we don't know. She, um, no, no, I'll tell you. Yeah. Well, <laughs> anyways, we had a practice session in front of her, and long story short, she shredded us to shreds. To shreds. To shreds. Like it was bad. She not so much me and sure. Not so much. Yeah, me and Jamie. We didn't take that much of a blunt of a blow. Uh-huh. Um. Our guitarist, man, he um he didn't get that much of a blow either. No, not really. It was no. our singer. Who, it was Richard, our singer. He's fresh on he will at the time he was fresh on the scene, mm-hmm. and he, did, he didn't really have a lot of criticism. He was always told he was great, and yeah. uh, you don't put baby in the corner. Yeah, he was very he was very full of well, not full of himself, but <laughs> he. I don't. It's difficult to say. Yeah, because I mean, he was humble, but he, like you said, he never was told no. So he, um, most, I uh, most definitely when we were in that uh session, go ahead and restart. Yeah. Um, he was told like we're practicing and we're getting it. And I'm going. We're, I'm going in. Jamie's going in. We're just getting oh, it, yeah. man. And <laughs> freaking, she stops the session. And she looks Richard dead in his eyes. She says, are you actually going to start singing? Mind you, Richard was actually like, he was singing like he normally did. Like, for all at all of our practice. He was, you know, participating. He wasn't half-assing it. Well, well, in our eyes, he wasn't. But she stopped us and was like, are you actually going to sing? And he was like, what do you mean? He was like, Shit, well, the A&R said, well... Right now, you just sound like you're just going through the motions. And <laughs> man, the moment I heard that, we looked at each other. Yeah, we looked at each other. We look, me and Jamie looked at each other, and we uh. look back. And she continues, and she's she looks him dead in his eyes. She was like, "Y'all gonna start again? And if you don't actually sing, like I need you to sing, then you're not gonna sing for the rest of the night. I'm gonna put you in timeout. Timeout. <laughs> timeout. Of all threat." <laughs> Man, I'm <laughs> time out. So we start the song over again, and Richard's like, "Okay," and then we start, and then by the way, the song was "Get on Top" by Red Hot Chili Peppers. It was "Get on Top" by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Um, it's a good song. I, I really it enjoy it to this day, and it always reminds me of the times that I had with. The... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, she um we started the song we started playing the song again and Richard literally got through one line of lyrics. Uh, yeah, he got through one line. One line of lyrics and she stopped and she said, Nope, stop. Richard, what are you doing? You're wasting my time. Get in the corner. And then that was that was when my heart dropped. Like before I just looked at Jamie <laughs> and gave me that look like, oh, and we all looked at each other. <laughs> but this time we all looked at each other and my heart sank. And I was like, oh, oh man. <laughs> I had it easy. The only thing she told me was I was fat and I had to lose weight. And I, and I was like, who? I got off easy. <laughs> uh, practically the same here. <laughs> she was like. But she told she tried telling me that this one solo part, because there's a part in the uh, in the breakdown where it goes, bam, bam, da, 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 da. And uh, she thought that was my part. And I said, no, that is not my part. That is somebody else's part, which another string instrumentalist who shall not be named is his part. <laughs> and uh, she was like, oh, okay. And yeah. Yeah. So I did too. good. Yeah! Oh my god, what is happening? Anyways. <laughs> long story short, um, we, um, long story short, whatever. Well, continuing the story. Um, short story, even yeah. longer. <laughs> right, short story, even longer. Uh, um, we got stop. done with that practice session, and <laughs> we got into the car, we got into the car because they had to take us back to, um, 
our hometown, which is like I said, two hours away. <laughs> so they they drove us all the way back two hours away. Yeah, um, it was a sad ride. Home. It was that ride home was very quiet. Oh my god! But it is it's crazy, man. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is like always take that opportunity, no matter what you're doing, even if you fail at it keep doing it because yeah. about what seven to eight months later after this, how this whole ordeal had happened we actually got back together as a band under a different name uh crownless king so um the only reason we're not really doing anything now is because everybody's so busy but we who knows we may do something else truth um but yeah we're gonna go ahead and end this session right here i didn't mean to really bore you with the story but i just wanted to share it we got with people because there's so many there's so many creative people yes. i know we're going over the time good job i know we're going over the time limit just a little bit but i just want to be really real with everyone right now um if you have a talent if you have any kind of passion passion anything you need to do it like we everyone on this earth only gets one life we don't get a second chance it's not a video game and I feel as though everyone should use their talents to the fullest, no matter what it is. Um, especially in the arts. A lot of people in the arts, such as music, fine arts, uh, performing arts, all that stuff, we we all get discouraged. Like anybody in the arts, we get discouraged. Same thing with sports, like they're not I mean, we're not special, but especially in the arts, we get discouraged fast. Yeah. And I just feel as though like I mean, twenty sixteen with everything that's happened really opened my eyes to the fact that if you have a talent you need to do it um, I just I'm just trying to tell everybody that um, I'm not trying to get too like emotional and too serious on this <laughs> on this on this episode but yeah I really feel as though like you I mean you only have one life and it 2016 hit me hard man like this whole year has been the worst roller coaster um but um i just hope everyone takes my advice and y'all should continue to stay sexy but as for now hit it